Hi, this is Pascal Maslin with Energy Efficiency Experts. Uh, this building here is a condo building that we performed an energy audit on. It's located in Washington, D.C., and it's a beautiful old building, about 130 years old, that was renovated into condos, and we did an energy audit on the top floor condo. So this is the blower door and there's a fan mounted in an expanding structure and it's evacuating the air out of the house and we can calculate by measuring up the house how many volumes of air are being heated and cooled daily. He's doing about 28 volumes per day and for good ventilation he needs to be doing about four or five, between four or five, four and five volumes per day. So he's doing a lot more than he needs to. So what we did after the blower door test is that we started sealing the house and so we put some foam in the sides of them to get them sealed and also some neoprene at the top and the bottom of each stash uh, and got all the windows sealed. So we moved the refrigerator and uh, of course behind the fridge was big gap between the wall and the floor so we sealed the gaps all around uh, the, where the refrigerator goes. We also sealed underneath the kitchen and bathroom sinks. We then took the covers off the HVAC supply and return vents. You have to be careful that you don't damage uh, the paint or caulking um, when you do this. So we took it off and you can see that there's gaping holes uh, where the duct meets the sheetrock. And this, what this does is, number one, when the fan is not running, you're getting cold air through there. And number two, you're losing the hot air because this one, this is mounted at the top and the ceiling. And then number three, when you are, when the fan is running, you're delivering air to inside the floors and the walls. This is it all sealed, and then we put the covers back on. Uh, we then went around and found gaps in trim and in closets and under the door jams and sealed everything first with foam and then we trimmed that back and then put white cork there to match the white trim. Then we uh, corked around the fireplace where this is actually it's clear cork that uh, when you apply it it's white but it dries clear and what I do is I always tape one side so if I put too much cork there I can take the cork off and wipe it onto the tape and that way you get a nice clean straight line. So you tape it, you foam the big gaps first and then you cork the smaller gaps and over the top of the big gaps to get a continuous finish. Uh, installing cover in insulated pads behind the cover plates of both outlets and switches uh, it's, that impacts both your comfort and your uh, utility bills. Then uh, that was about 16 hours of work for two people and when we were done we did the blower door test again and we had a total reduction of about 40 percent in the volume of air that was going out the door. So we were down to 17 uh, volumes per day and that's pretty high but the next job he ha that we needed to do was to install a damper in the fireplace. So yeah, reducing the volumes of air that you heat and cool every day of course impacts your bills and if you're seeing 40% reduction in your uh, in the volume and in, in the air that you're conditioning you're going to see the equivalent level of reduction in your utility bills each month. So, grab a cork gun and some foam and start saving money.